Hi guys, and welcome to yet another Monroe adventure. A little bit of a later start than normal today, with it being about three in the afternoon. But I've got a plan to do four Monroes over two days. And I'm in Glencoe, one of the busiest areas for hill walking, which I found out already as I couldn't get parked in the car park I wanted to park in. So I've had to park a little bit further down the road. And these four Monroes that I'm gonna do are gonna take me to a milestone in my Monroe journey so far. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to today and tomorrow's adventure. So I better make a start on today's walk. Right guys, just a quick update for you. If you haven't figured out already, then I'll tell you where I am. I'm on Buchel Etiv Beg, which is the smaller of the two Buchels. And if you have a look behind me, you can see the first Monroe of today. Sorry, the winds have really picked up here. The side here is Bidian, and over here is the Anik Egek Ridge. And behind, you can see the second Monroe of today. <laughs> As I say, it's got really windy here, so I'm going to put a jumper on and head to the top of the Monroe. From here, there's a fantastic ridge walk towards the top of the first Monroe of today. Well, there we go, the first Monroe of Buchal out of Beg. And this is Stob Du, which is 956 metres high, and it means the Black Peak. What a fantastic viewpoint this is from up here. There's actually another cairn a bit further behind the camera, so I'm going to go over to it, as I think the views will be stunning from over there. Wow, I wasn't wrong. Look at this for a viewpoint. So next to me, over here is Buchel Et of Moor, which I'm actually planning to do tomorrow. And then swing around here, sorry about the wind noise, but there's Loch Et of, I think that's Ben Starav in the distance. And next to me, again, is Bidian Nambian, the big massive here. Again, behind, is the Anik Egek Ridge and Ben Nevis. What an absolutely stunning viewpoint this is. So I'm gonna spend a bit of time up here enjoying the views. Just another quick update. So that's me back at the Bilac between the two Monroes. As you can see, it's going to be a bit of a steep ascent up to the top of the next Monroe. But this route is actually relatively short at about five miles. And it estimates about five to six hours to do it. And I think I've been on the go for just over two, so I think that's pretty good going.
There we go guys, the second Monroe of Buchel Eter Berg and this is Stob Corrie Reinach and it means peak of the Bracken filled quarry. It's actually slightly lower than the first one today at 925 metres. This one again is a recently promoted Monroe in 1997. What a viewpoint it is from up here. And this is Monroe 139 for me. So if I do the maths right, then after the two tomorrow, I should be halfway around the Monroes. So yeah, I'll show you some of the views from up here. So from this side, I can see back from where I came from and all the way back down Glencoe. There's almost a blue haze in the air today. So behind me, you can see the giant that is Bucoletive Moor, which we're going to see a closer view of that tomorrow. And behind that, you can see Rannoch Moor. So Bucoletive Beg means the little herdsman of Etive. And as we know, tomorrow's one is going to be the bigger brother, Bucoletive Moor. So I'm looking forward to that one. So anyway, I'm going to hang about here, enjoy the views a little bit longer and then head back down to the van where I'm actually sleeping the night in Glencoe. That's not a bad view for tonight. So I'm gonna settle down here, get some dinner, and then probably have an early night. As tomorrow, I'm climbing the biggie, Buchel Etivmore. The only downside of being in Glencoe at this time of year is the midges. So I think I'll be sitting in the van, enjoying the view out the window for most of tonight. Right, that's me fed and watered, and I think I'm gonna call it a night from here. But yeah, that's what I've got to look forward to for tomorrow. I'm not sure how good a sleep I'm gonna get in the van, but we'll see, we'll soon find out. It's the first time I've actually slept in this van. So my only worry is, I think it might actually be too warm tonight. Anyway, that's it for me tonight, and I'll catch you in the morning. Morning guys, that wasn't too bad of a sleep last night. Got woke up a couple of times by the cars going past, but apart from that, it wasn't too bad. The midges are still out in force, so I'm not gonna hang about here for long. But as you can see, the buccal behind me is today's target. And I've got about a five minute drive up the road to the start of today's walk. So I'm gonna make a move and run away from these midges. Right guys, that's me up and on the move. And it looks like it's gonna be warm again today. I think this cloud's gonna burn off pretty sharp. And the way ahead is looking pretty steep. We're going up 
through here and then up onto the top of the Munro. Just a quick update. Oh, sweating buckets. <laughs> it's warm this morning and the sun's out already. But I've came up the gully here and now I'm going up over to the top of the Monroe. It's looking like it's gonna be a cracker of a day and the views look stunning already. Wow, what a view there is from up here. And this is Monroe 140, Stob Jerag, which means the Red Peak, and it's 1,021 meters high. This mountain has to be one of the most photographed mountains in Scotland, and you can see why. The view from down below is absolutely spectacular, but the view from up here is something else as well. So it is actually a little bit of an airy peak up here as it just drops straight off. But what a fantastic view over Rannoch Moor. After spending quite some time at the top of that Monroe, I decided I'd better start making my way along the fine ridge ahead. I finally came down from Stob Jerag, and behind me you can see the next bump. Surprisingly, that's not the Monroe. With the amount of descent and reascent, I'm not sure why that doesn't have Monroe status, but the next Monroe is actually behind this little bump here. So yeah, today's walk is a little bit further than yesterday's one. I think it's about eight miles, whereas yesterday was about five. So I'm just going to enjoy this ridge walk towards the next Monroe. That's me at the top of the first bump. Oh, it's so warm. Today's actually the day that they're forecasting 40 degrees in London. It's nowhere near that here, but it's still very, very warm. You can see back to Stob Jerag, some great views down Glen Etive here. And finally, you can see the top of the second Monroe. I'm still finding it hard to believe that this isn't a Monroe or should have Monroe status as there's definitely the right drop down there and then I'll just show you off the other side here that's a considerable drop down there but anyway it won't be long till we're at the next Monroe
There we go. We're doing 141. And that marks halfway around my Monroe round. <laughs> oh, I'm buzzing. This is Stob Nabroye, which means peak of the shoe. And it's 956 meters high. A lot lower than that bump that I came over earlier, which looks a bit strange from here. But anyway, the views are incredible. I'm going to sit here for a while and take in Monroe 141. Well, the view from here is incredible. Similar to the one from the neighbour next door, down Loch Etiv, with Ben Starav in the background. It's a little bit hazy again today, but it doesn't matter. It's not affecting the views too much. What a way to mark Monroe 141, an incredible mountain in Buchel Etiv Moor. I'm absolutely delighted to reach the achievement today of halfway around the Monroes. But I have a feeling that the second half might be slightly more difficult than the first half by looking at what I've got left. But I'm sure I'll enjoy it all the same, if not more than the first half. So I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that's watched all the videos, 141 Monroes so far. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next 141. So anyway, I better rate these two mountains out of 10. And I think yesterday's one, Bukalet of Beg, we'll give that a seven and a half out of 10. A nice easy day with rewarding views. And today, Bukalet of Moor, that's gonna get a nine and a half out of 10. It's a special mountain, one that I won't forget anytime soon. While at the top here, I had plenty of time to reflect on my Monroe journey so far. And I just looked back to the rugged hills of Torridon and the grassy hills of Glen Lyon and the adventures I've had in the snow in winter. And I've enjoyed every single Monroe in its own way. They've all got great character and yeah, I've just enjoyed every second of the journey so far. Anyway, that's it for today's adventure. I hope you've enjoyed it and you'll join me for some more Monroes in the next one.